I'll be installing a Kohler Duo strainer in a kitchen sink. The sink strainer body is made of brass and this feels like it weighs about a pound. The strainer basket uses an o-ring to seal the drain. I went ahead and bought some spare o-rings so that I can replace it when it starts to leak. Loosen the nut on the tailpiece. If there's enough room to work, just swing the trap out of the way. Remove the lock nut from the strainer body. This strainer has only been installed for less than two years. I didn't like the basket strainer and it's already starting to rust. So when you're trying to remove yours, likely it's not going to go easy like this. I do have some tips and tricks on how to remove uh, stuck sink drains. Click on the channel name and look for the playlist that says kitchen sink repairs. Clean this area on the underside of the opening of the sink. Remove any old putty from this side of the sink. I'll replace the tailpiece washer. Start with about a two inch ball of plumber's putty. And roll it into a rope. Center the drain body over the hole in the sink. Press it in place. Remove any excess putty from the underside. If the sink is marble, granite, or some types of plastic, plumber's putty may stain the sink. Silicone sealant is recommended on these materials. The downside of silicone is that you have to wait for it to set up before you can use the sink. Plumber's putty doesn't require any setup time. I've wrapped the threads of the screws with some plumber's tape. I think that uh, it may make it easier for the person that has to remove this in years to come. I've installed the screws so that they're just flush with the threaded ring. I put plumber's tape on these threads also, not for sealing purposes, but to make removal easier at a later time. Hand tighten the lock nut, washer, and gasket. Tighten the three screws evenly. You don't have to make these super tight. Turn them until you just start to feel a little more resistance because all you need to do is compress the rubber gasket uh, against the bottom of the sink and to push out any extra putty between the sink and the strainer. To hedge my bets, I did put two wraps of plumber's tape around these threads. When the tailpiece washer is compressed against the bottom of the strainer, it should make a tight seal. If I have any leaks, I can tighten the connections down with a wrench a little bit. I'll test the 
putty seal by putting some water into the sink. Then checking below and I don't have anything leaking out so that seal looks good. I'll send the water below to check the rest of the plumbing and I have a little bit of water leaking by here so I'll use a wrench and crank that down a little bit. And it passed the second test. That's how you install a Kohler Duo Strainer. I hope you found this video helpful. A thumbs up is always appreciated. Click on the channel name, Know How Now, to find other videos. And thanks for watching.